welcome I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we're looking at FS19 new mods for farming simulator 19 now this came out these came out in an update on Friday today's Saturday so I was a bit late fell asleep last night got in from work and just flaked right out so let's get into it today what is going on in the modder let's go and have a look so first mod is the lizard 520 T. Now this was the SMS, uh, I think it was called, and this was in mods in testing for a long, long time. And we have configurations of this roller. Ah, oh, so it's a roller with a fertilizer and cultivator, weeder, weeding, weeder with sewing machine, sewing machine with fertilizer. So loads going on with that. All right, we'll go into that one. And then we have a snowman. And that's by Tartsy007. And yeah, 100 quid as a snowman. And I forgot to say, that was by DD Mod Passion. Then we have a bucket with, by Danio Mods. The bucket is a universal tool for transferring mainly moose materials. Okay, fair enough. Capacity 200 litres. Then we also have the Sapphire MES 400, which is a solid spreader by Lucas. And we've got a couple similar to that at the moment, but four meters wide, that one. Configuration with or without grid. Okay, oh, I see the top bit there. And then we have the Gilbert 1800 Pro by Melody 98, and that's 30,000 liter capacity at that one, 20 grand. And then we have the Shooter Maker Saiwa 240 hook lift silage container by the Dutch Dutch Modding Inc. The Shooter Maker Saiwa 240 silage container is suitable for the IT runner pack. Priced at just 26,550 euros with a capacity of 43,000 litres. Cool. And then we also have, now this is a cool bit of kit, the Lizard C30R2B by AF Modding. Now this was in mods and testing quite a few months back and came out for PC. And I didn't think we were gonna get this for console, but here it is today. So that'd be interesting bit of kit. There's quite a few things going on with it. Low center of gravity, I noticed on that as well. Um, machine can travel on slopes of 30 degrees. So that, the only downside with that is, I think the speed of it is 8.2 kilometers, which is only gonna be a few mile an hour. So you ain't gonna drive that very far. But we'll have a look at that, that's pretty cool, I like that. And then we have the Lizard Tempest Adapter, and mods in testing again, it was like, what the hell is the Tempest Adapter? And it's an adapter offers much more flexibility in terms of implements, and it's a good bit of kit really, because it, from telescopic loader to wheel loader so you can use wheel loader on telehandler basically which is quite good by rick label twd modding and then there was an update for jermaine raid and there's just a few bug issues and what have you for that nothing yeah it was just a, a few bu bug issues sorted out for it and then also one for the modular map and the equipment for the new farms adapted to the size of the plots modification of the starting point and minor updates and that's your lot for this week's fs19 mods right then let's get into this fs19 mod review so first off we'll look at the tempest adapter and there it is it costs 340 pounds to buy and will cost you 17 pounds for your initial leasing costs well let's pick oh it will let us pick it up i didn't realize you could pick it up that makes a big difference so much stuff you cannot pick up but you can that awesome now you can have different color options on it there's about 37 different color options and they're 200 pounds extra for it so this it says is a telehandler to wheel loader is what it says in the mod hub and i was like cool that's uh, always good because a lot of times you do want telehandler to wheel loader so let's get it hooked up
and then over here we have the wheel loader bucket and now straight away I was like well these points here aren't going to line up with these points on here and when I was looking for this it took me this is what annoys me about some of this stuff is it took me probably about 15 minutes going through and I was like well where the hell is this and then it was I just went into lizard scrolled through all the lizard stuff and there it was and it's not a telehandler to wheel loader it's a telehandler to a front loader which is a totally different thing altogether so and the worst thing is it's like the front loaders they don't have the bigger buckets anyway so a lot of time I didn't want to convert telehandler to front loader but that's just me is it just me or I don't know anyway so it will attach to a front loader not a wheel loader and if you want to find it in the menu it is in the front loader category so there it is the Tempus Tempus adapter right next mod we'll have a look at is the lizard C30R 2B now this came out mods and testing uh, quite a few couple of months ago and then was released for PC and that's why in the mod hub online it doesn't show up that it's there because it was released a, a while back so it just show up as an update for some strange reason even if you go into uh, console then it doesn't show it it shows it in your on your console game but on the console mod hub it uh, on PS4 for Xbox it doesn't show it there which is a bit weird but there you go you know, I've had a little play around with this. I've had a drive around, and it said it could go up to 30 degree inclines, and it can do a lot more than that. And it is pretty stable as well. My only thing I didn't like about it is the speed, where it says it will do five mile an hour, but it doesn't. It does four mile an hour, and that's a big difference. Now, if, if you're trying to find this, what category would you put this in? I would put it under well miscellaneous maybe or then you could say well it's a it's a trait you've got a trailer on the back haven't you so I don't know but no it's under skid steers so that baffles me I know they got tracks but there's nothing else about this is a skid steer I suppose but I don't know anyway there it is doesn't cost too much money 58,000 pounds which I was like wow okay and £2,958 on your initial leasing costs and 26 horsepower and it says 4 mile an hour and it does do 4 mile an hour but when you click in you can see down there at the bottom it says 5 mile an hour so and then it'll only do 4 mile an hour anyhow now you can have all the different colours where I've got the blue in there you can change that there is uh, 38 different colours in there £250 a pop and you can you know the steering on this is pretty cool and it's stable really because there's no speed in it anyway imagine driving this anywhere you're not going to take it very far which got me thinking well what are you going to use this for so I wasn't I was a bit unsure what we're going to use that for let me know in the comments what you're going to use it for because it no trailer hitch on the back which uh, i was a bit gutted about would have been nice to see that on there but uh, never mind we have got beacon and then working lights you've got the front lights and then you spin round to the back and it's got that back work light there and then there is a full beam on the front you don't notice it that much but there it is on there like that so going inside and of course visibility all the way around no issues there nothing in our way however that um, the mirror there is uh, I don't know what it's looking at I can't see nothing in it but there you go but inside pretty cool this lever actually moves up and down you can see we go in a little bit quicker quicker closer you see we've got the lever action going on there and when you're going over rougher terrain let's just go outside and you see down there it does hold 2500 litres 
So I was a little bit, but I just couldn't. I was like, well, what are you going to use this for? And of course, yeah, it'll only show us seeds because I've got it full up with seeds, haven't I? So let's just drop the seeds off there. Now you have got uh, unfold as well, which if you tip that down, it doesn't come out of the back, uh, the sides, it'll only come out of the back for loading pallets and what have you. And that was the only way I managed to fill up this bucket, which was the next mod. Now, I'll tell you what, let's go over it and show you, because it said 30 degrees, and I was messing around with this, this will go up pretty much a lot of stuff. And even if you flip it, it does self right itself, or you can do the unfold like that, where it drops them down, and that'll uh, pick you back up as well. But it will go up quite a bit of an incline. You see it's not going to go up here very quick, but it said 30 degree slope. I think that's a bit better than a 30 degree slope. But a cracking mod, I love it. But what are you going to use it for? Let me know in the comments. What? There must be something that popped in you and you think, oh, I'll use it for that, because uh, I'm not too sure myself, just from the fact it's really slow. If it did 15 mile an hour, but 4 mile an hour is... Uh, crazy slow. I found that out when we had the mower the other day and that was six mile an hour and that was like whoa even driving that anyway. Wasn't great. Right this has got reverse steer on it as well where you can uh, spin around and uh, drive it backwards or forwards. It's pretty cool and the seat does when you're over the rough terrain the seat jumps uh, up and down there. Uh, pretty much a lot of animation on it. Looks pretty cool. Next mod is the bucket. Now I've been. This is another one what I was messing around with for a while because I couldn't get anything it to fill up. So and to unload it. Yeah, we dropped it out on the floor. But the only way, see, it's still in there. I was like, well, what is going on here? It's a. Uh, it's a strange one. I, as soon as I seen it, I thought, well, how's that going to work then? So that is definitely coming out of there, isn't it? Is it empty now? Yep, it is empty. Now, when I took it over to this... Oh, let's get it levelled up. When I took it over to the... See, it's just already filled back up again. So, and I didn't even press anything. This is uh, a little, little bit strange. So let's... Oh. Right, so that is definitely empty. And it's filled back up again. Okay. But when I took it to this silo earlier, I couldn't get it anything in there. <laughs> See, it just keeps filling back up again. It's really weird. So there's obviously a problem with that, but the main thing I had a problem with was filling up. I came under here earlier and it wouldn't have it. It might be just this silo. I didn't take it at the farm because it's like, for one, when you put it down anywhere, so let's drop that there, and we'll undo that strap. It doesn't strap down. You can see it doesn't recognize that whatsoever. So you've got to be careful because you're going to lose it. So I haven't taken it back to the farm and tried any other way, but let's just move it over here because I couldn't actually get it to pick up anything off the ground or anything like that because it said it is something to move. Whoa, come on then. Get out of there. Right, so let's tip that. Yep, and that's tipped. Let's move right over here. And it's empty. Uh, is it going to stay empty? Right, it does stay empty now. So when I take it back, so it picks it up as soon as you go near it then. That's the crack. I was messing around with this for ages. And it was like, well, how the hell is that going to work? So basically, 
you don't need to yeah you touch the ground and it fills up easy as that and then whoa, whoa can we tip it out into here we can so it is working all right it's it's just that whenever you're near a pile of anything it's going to automatically fill itself up if we can tip that back yep there we go so that is the bucket 50 quid two pounds to lease oh right drop that there yeah and that works a treat minus one on the slot count that's your lot let's get on to the next mod right the next ones are the lizard 520t pack because it is really a pack and it is like well why are all these separate mods really where a lot of them are very similar so it was couldn't we have just blended them in because there is seven different models here but we'll go through them anyway so the lizard we have the lizard 520 roller which is down on the field and i was messing around with that where i was going to take well stop camera i was going to go down and take them all down and test them and it's like well no i'm not going to do that because it's going to take ages and they're all the same so they should if one works they're all going to work they're probably duplicates of themselves anyway so we have the different ones which the roll is down in the field we'll go down and have a look at that in a minute and then basically that restores field this one is a fertilizer and then you've got this extra tank on here and this one you've got the whole hoses running on down to it and what have you and then the next one over is the is that the fertilizer no that's the cultivator so that one's the cultivator let's get that unfolded and then we can see exactly what the crack is because this was in mods and testing for months i'm sure it was uh getting up it must have been a good six seven weeks seven eight weeks easily and we got lighting on there indicators no work beacon is that no and that's it unfolded and then we just drop it down like that so that one is the cultivator so it's a roller what cultivates which you can see you've got your splines down in there or splines whatever you call them i don't know so let's get that one out of the way and then we've got the cultivator and fertilizer now they're all minus 24 slots as well this is this is the thing so you wouldn't have all of these because it's just um each one is 24 where a lot of time if it was one mod each one after that would only be one or two after go on get down there and the other thing i noticed about it is basically because you've got the roller option if you go and try and fill the fertilizer up or the seed up then it won't recognize it from your silo you had to do it from a pallet because i've got a pallet over there i had to do it that way where every time you went to the the the, the, the silo over there it would only f recognize the water but i thought you oh, you do water drive in drive back out and uh, let it do fertilizer and seed but it doesn't know yeah so that was the cultivator and the you can fertilize at the same time but is detail on it is pretty pretty cool all the hoses and what have you done a good job right next and this one is the weeder Now they all cost from about 23,000 for the fertilizers and the cedars and then uh, well the weed is 14 grand so this will get rid of any of your small weeds right next one then we have the weeder and sewing machine so you can weed and plant at the same time you can do that anyway if you cultivate can you if you cultivate and 
use a cult use a seed there was cultivator as well do the same job on it okay I can't remember with weeds to be honest I normally turn weeds off all the time so unfold again but it's the same isn't it it's the same same unfold and you see we've got the grass uh, menus come up there and then the last one I think this was the fertilizer and sewing machine yeah the sewing machine and fertilizer it's a bit slow on the un unfolding now you can have extra um, this one is the 300 the PS 300 and that one is the PS 500 which is just that little bit bigger and the sewing machine is the more expensive one where it is there is gone is the 24,200 pounds so there they are that's them right let's go on down and look at the next selection of mods so next mod we have is the Gillybert 1800 Pro trailer now this is quite cheap 20 grand to buy and initial leasing costs are 1020 pounds holds 30,000 litres holds pretty much most of the commodities I think it wasn't pretty much all of them but only minus one on the slot game which is always nice and no options we've got Michelin's on here which are fair size tyres anyway no colour options anything else that's your lot so let's hook this up So this type of trailer is ideal for your smaller farm or you've got restricted access. Right, let's try and... Uh, I probably should have come in the other way, but we'll give it a go. No, it's not. The other ones are restricted access. Sorry, this one was a tip of what the bloody hell am I on about. The Siwa is... So we've got lighting on there as well. And indicators, reverse. And we've got quite a pile of that. Hopefully we're not gonna get stuck. Oh there it is. Nice trailer. The eighteen hundred Pro Gillybert. Cool. And that's rare, there's not many of them you can disconnect, they'll always say, no, you need to wait for it to be unfolded. Right, we've got the roller over here, which is the other, the first one of the Lizard 520. And this is just here to restore back to fields, um, restore original ground state, basically. Which is putting grass down, isn't it, really? It restores it back to grass. And let's turn those indicators off. Drops it down. And away we go. Now it has got the two point on there as well, so you can get quite good turning radius on it. Just like that. Right, next, FS19 new mod. Where is it? The Shooter Maker Saiwa 240. Whoa. Let's get around in the sun. And obviously a hook lift attacher. Now this is one that's pretty cool because basically we've got a walking floor in there. So no tipping, it's just gonna throw it all straight out the back. Now this will cost you £26,550 to buy and initial leasing costs are £1,354 minus seven on the slot count and you do need a hook lift to use it. Now you don't want to be using the, the new hook lift, the 6x6 one because it's probably twice as long. You think it's like this one 
with like the extra tires on the back so it'll end here so you'll have all that overhang there I put a little bit of this uh, grass in the silo and didn't have any issues with it and it does pick up well not pick up it does uh, hold pretty much everything see we've got all the main commodities they're all there I didn't think anything was it won't let me take grass actually will it no it will there's the grass just like that Right, we'll have a little bit of that and we we'll go and put that in that that bunker and then we've got the new sapphire uh, leveler we we'll go and give that a go 43,000 litre capacity And yeah, forgot about the extra weight. There is a little bit of uh, weight hanging on the back there. It might have been better loading this right at the front. I don't know if that does make a huge difference or not. But right, let's get this unloaded. Get in there a little bit. Ooh. You can see it's got the rotors there that spin round. And then the walking floor just throws it all out. Nearly done, yep. Just like that. But quite cheap for a hook lift trailer and 45,000 litre capacity. Can't complain about that, can you? It does the job. Now, one of the other things I've just noticed with this one, and you can see the overhang on there, I thought, well, it's a bit of an overhang, but you're going to struggle with trailers, you're going to have to put something in between, either a little, little flatbed or something, or something like that, because when you hook up, you can see it will recognise it just, but yeah, you ain't doing much with that, are you? Right, next one is the Safa. Now we've got this currently in game, but now we've got a grey one. Now, did it have colours? I can't remember if it had. I don't think it did. No, it didn't have colour combinations for it. Now, this is minus six on the slot count. So, this is the smaller one where it is the four metre option for it. And you can have it on a three pointer or you can have it on your wheel loader. It will cost you £6,800 to buy, the same as the other one in game, and £346 on your initial leasing cost. The optional upgrade is this extra grate on the top of here. This well, it's grid, they call it, with grid. That's no extra money for that either. And you see that's hooked up for a wheel loader. So I have a wheel loader just here. And lift it up a little bit, do the unfold, then they fold away like that. And then into the bunker. And I'd probably be better with a bigger loader, really. But well, that seems to be working no issues. Soon flatten that out. Right? <laughs> Jobs are good and Now that is in the leveller category, which it should be. 
the, most of the stuff is in the right category, so yes, some stuff is ridiculous. Right, next mod. So here it is, and next mod is the snowman. So if you want a snowman, we have one in game in the decoration category. And I didn't, I was surprised how big it was. It's quite, quite tall. 100 quid, so not too much money, and is minus one on the slot count. Cool. How cool is that? Carrot nose, top hat, and everything. What more do you want? Classic. Righto, well that's it for new mods for today. That's our first look mod review for FS19. And end of the week. I was a bit disappointed we couldn't get um, to do mods in testing the last couple of days where I'm not an update, so I should have done an update and done something else really, but next time I will. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash that like button for me. That will always be much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos. I've got a few more videos to catch up on over the weekend. And if you hit that subscribe button, then you won't miss out on any of the latest content. Righto, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.